What's up guys, here is 8 minutes of useless information about Thresh, Senna, and Lucian. Also, if you enjoy, please consider supporting me by smashing that sub button and helping me hit 100k subs. It would seriously mean so much to me, and you know the drill. Here's a photo of a puppy. Let's go. Senna can outrange turrets without items when she hits 180 stacks. And honestly, it may be slightly less, but it's definitely between 175 and 180. Deep Terror Thresh has a chance of pulling up a tire instead of a treasure chest, and the skin is also inspired by Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean. The skin in particular was also deemed one of the best pay to win skins because his recall looks like he's winding up for a hook. True Damage Senna Prestige Edition was made in cooperation with a popular fashion company Louis Vuitton. Apparently Senna was very close to being an entirely different champion than what we know today and it's probably best that none of it went through. There was a version where Senna had dual wielding pistols that had 500 range. Senna used to have two pistols, she used to be super mobile, she had Ezreal's model and her ultimate was after every attack she could teleport about as far as an Ezreal E. A version of her passive that gave her infinite stacking percent max health damage. Um, and and her passive was every attack had infinitely stacking percent max health damage. She'd turn on her ultimate and she'd basically kite circles around you while eventually killing you because she'd just do more and more and more and more and more and more and more damage until you eventually died. And her Q used to heal minions and turrets. That would have been ridiculous. Senna's Q piercing darkness was inspired by Lucian's Q piercing light. Senna's passive absolution was inspired by Thresh's passive damnation, both granting the ability to gain infinite stacks. Senna's passive also used to be a three hit passive, but it was moved to two because it felt too unreliable. I originally tried a three hit passive for her soul attack, but she attacked so slow that it was actually really hard to get souls. So I changed it to a two hit passive because a three was too much in Senna's case. Thresh was a sorcerer from the Blessed Isles before he came the Thresh we know today. Also his lantern he uses now used to be his lantern staff. Lucian has a quote where he says, Death at the door? <laughs> no, I am the one who knocks. Which is a reference to Breaking Bad. His quote, Reach for the Sky, is also from Toy Story. Senna's ultimate is technically a missile, so it's actually possible to flash through it like a Jinx rocket or an Ash arrow. When Senna hits someone with her ultimate, you can see their spirit leave their body. If you look closely, Senna does a somersault after her ultimate ends. Before Senna was released, Thresh used to start with one extra soul as an easter egg if he was in the same game with Lucian. That one soul representing Senna, of course. Thresh had a quote where he said, I am the thing under the red. Which is a response to Cho'Gath's, No! I do not live under a bed! Which in itself is a reference to the Boogeyman. Thresh's scythe was inspired by a Sarigama, a traditional Japanese weapon. Lucian's ultimate, the Kolin, used to be the first ability in the game that scaled with attack speed. If you think Senna's auto attack feels weird, it's probably because she has one of the longest attack frames in the game at half a second. Most champions are between 0.2 seconds and 0.3 seconds. Senna's voiced by Cynthia McWilliams in League, but Kimberly Brooks in The Legends of Runeterra. The idea was for Cynthia to portray the voice of the older Senna who escaped Thresh's lantern, but Kimberly Brooks to be the voice of the younger Senna before she was imprisoned. Senna became a support marksman because Riot wanted her to keep her gun but also wanted her to be able to lane with Lucian. Thresh was the first champion released in 2013 and back then as an easter egg his health bar was also 2013 when he was level 18. Thresh was the first champion to cost 7800 IP on the first week after his release. Thresh used to be one of the only champions classified as a ranged tank. The other was Urgot. Lucian was originally voiced by Patrick Seitz who was also Dio and more importantly Teuchi from Naruto. But after they released Senna, TJ Storm aka Colossus from Deadpool started doing all of his lines. The name of High Noon Senna's horse is Sentinel. Here's a clip of Senna getting the perfect double kill steal. Here are pictures of fan art Senna skins that aren't made yet, but I could definitely see them being added in the future. Spear Blossom Thresh was originally an epic skin, but was moved to a legendary skin to fit the fantasy of a shape-shifting demon. This was also the first skin where he had a human-like appearance. Once Spear Blossom Thresh collects 45 souls with his passive and uses his ultimate, you can toggle between being a human and a demon using Control 5. Out of all the champions, Thresh has the highest win rate when an Anivia is on the team with him. Lucian's pistols don't have triggers. They can only be fired using a pure heart. The average Thresh main is Gold 3 and the average Senna main and Lucian main are Silver 2. Lucian and Senna are both about 25 years old, however Thresh is about 1100 years old. Senna's cannon has two barrels which can fire darkness or light. The light barrel is what heals your team and the darkness one is what does the damage. One of Lucian's guns originally belonged to Senna before she was imprisoned by Thresh. Additionally, Lucian's guns have markings on them with an S and an L which stands for Senna and Lucian. Thresh has different attack animations depending on how far he is from the target he's hitting. Thresh's dance references Poe dancing which originated in New Zealand. Lucian's recall is a reference to the movie Equilibrium. 
Lucian's dance is a reference to Revolver Ocelot from Metal Gear. Said his name comes from the Arabic word Sana, which means brightness or sublimity, and the name Lucian derives from Latin. Sana has a higher win rate as an ADC than a support. Control wards reveal Sena and her allies when inside the mist, so if you're fighting a Sena, drop a ward on that sucker and you're good to go. If you start attacking the enemy and you're inside Sena's mist, you'll reveal yourself, so if you're trying to get away, sometimes it's best to just run. Thresh was the first champion to feature a death animation on a classic skin. Also, in Thresh's death animation, you can see his own soul being sucked into the lantern. If Senna and Thresh are played on opposite teams, a special quest will trigger called Oh the Eternity We Shall Spend Together for Thresh and Sentinels of Light Don't Fear the Dark for Senna. If Thresh kills or assists in killing Senna, he'll get a buff that says Welcome Home, Poor Senna, Nobody Escapes the Lantern, and also gains extra stats from the Absorbed Souls. If Senna wins, she gets a buff that says Purity, Peace, Thresh has finally been allowed to pass, and she also gains some buffs. Here's a clip of Senna with like a billion stacks killing things across the map. There are a few spots on Summoner's Rift where you can actually pull the enemies over the wall using your Q. This is a painting done by Thresh by this person which took them 5 years to complete. Lucian has just about the same win rate in the top lane and mid lane as he does as an ADC, about 46.3%. Thresh's death recap used to read, you have opened the box, your prize is death. Thresh is voiced by Mark Oliver. Sometimes when Senna is in her E, her minimap icon will look something like this. And if you know what I'm talking about and you could tell me when this happens, that would be great because I couldn't remember to save my life and I couldn't find an image of it anywhere. Thanks fam. Thresh has an internal called click that actually tracks how many people you've transported with your W, aka your lantern. Here's a sad photo of a Thresh main with zero clicks. Either he's just not using his lantern or Flash just looks cooler to other people. Senna was one of those characters in the lore before she became an actual champion. She was actually supposed to be just a background character, but as you know, she became Lucian's driving force for vengeance. Riot took an unusual approach for creating Senna and created what they called a Senna Dome, where anyone who's interested in her design could pitch their ideas and participate. Lucian's win rate goes up by 9% when he has a quirky mid on his team. Lucian was the first champion to ever get a chromo pack for his basic skin. In the lore, Thresh was directly responsible for the ruination of the Blessed Owls. He led Viego directly to the Waters of Life where Viego tried to resurrect Isolde. Okay, speedrun on the lore. Lucian's dad didn't want Lucian to go become a Sentinel of Light because it was dangerous but went out on his own to fight the Mist himself. The dad eventually met Senna and trained her because he found out she was cursed and the Mist wouldn't stop chasing her. Lucian's dad died. Senna tells Lucian his dad died. Lucian and Senna then go out on an adventure together. On the adventure, Senna realizes that the dude can actually shoot stuff with a special pistol. She's like, whoa, you can shoot stuff with a special pistol. I shall train you. The two catch feelings for each other. They then go on a new adventure and try to lift Senna's curse but run into Thresh. Lucian says he can clap Thresh's cheeks but Thresh does the clapping and Senna gets sucked into the lantern. Lucian grabs Senna's pistol, hence the dual wielding pistols you see today, and goes out to avenge her. Lucian went crazy and kept chasing Thresh and failing until one day he poked Thresh's lantern and the souls came spilling out including Senna. While Senna was in the lantern, she was chilling with old sentinels of light who told her they needed to stop Viego aka the Ruined King. And that's pretty much where the lore is at today. With the new trailers being released about the Ruination, I'm sure we'll figure out what happens next soon. If you're playing with a Thresh, they hate it when you take the lantern, so make sure to never take it and utilize your flash instead. It looks way cooler anyways. That's all I got for this time around. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing for more and make sure to check out my other videos here. Hey, right, I'll see you next time. Bye.